big weight representing the Bronx, baby, with another YouTube video for you. Check it out. Macro management, macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Those are the best ways if you monitor them correctly can help you burn that fat, build that muscle, lose that weight. Now, macro should be in the, do you know? Do you know? Carbohydrates should be 45% to 65%, 65% if you're active of your daily calorie needs. Proteins should be 10 to 35% of your calorie needs. And fat should be 20 to 35% of your calorie needs. Fats are not bad. Fats are only bad if you eat more fats that are high in, do you know? Saturated fats. Saturated fats are the <coughs> excuse me, the culprit for producing cardiovascular disease and so forth. And also, if you eat too many carbohydrates that your body doesn't need, it will convert that into fat and that could be also in the form of cholesterol and fat deposits in your body according to the books that I have read so even if you go on a ketogenic diet and you're eating over your calorie needs you can you can but highly unlikely produce a weight increase However, those carbohydrates, if it's in the form of rice, breads, pasta, cookies, chips, sugars, the sugars that are like fructose, galactose, maltose, so on and so forth, can produce weight gain. That's why I'm in so in love with the carb, um, the ketogenic diet and silic, sil damn, cyclic carbohydrate carbohydrates replenishment so if i'm doing a ketogenic diet for five days i get one day to if i'm not doing a high intensity aerobic workout that's depleting glycogen and my resistance training that it's depleting glycogen then i may go three days on one day off but making sure that my carbohydrate intakes in those forms that i just previously mentioned are in a lower amount. So my carbohydrates, I try not to go. So first and foremost, 800 calories is what's required to, for my macros is the lower end of my carbohydrate needs and 1,100 is at the higher end. So just remember that your muscles hold, do you know how much grams of carbohydrates or glycogen? Because glycogen and carbohydrates, that's universal. That goes one in, in the same. It holds, I'm waiting for it, tell me, 100 grams. 100 grams of glycogen is in your muscles. And then, do you know where the other part of your body stores glycogen? It's the liver. 400 grams, so that's 1,600 grams. This is an average, an overall average. Now, the bigger muscles you have, probably the more glycogen you can utilize or shuttle, over, shuttle to your muscles. So just remember, if you're trying to deplete glycogen from your muscles and your liver, that's 1,600 calories, but your body systemically burns fats and carbohydrates throughout the process of your daily rigmarole whatever you're doing daily so tracking those macros in whatever you're doing that oh intermittent fasting is another thing which if you're doing intermittent fasting if you still eat over your calories you're going to get fat you're going to get fat so therefore track those macros know what you're doing when you're eating it and you should have a successful 
successful weight loss or weight gain or muscle building activity that your body needs. This is big motherfucking weight representing the Bronx here with another YouTube video for you. Continue making big things happen. Have a great day. Peace.